Alright guys, I have some not so good news to tell you. I'll be having my exams in the first week of October, so I'll be taking a break from YouTube for the next month and a half. So um, you can always suggest me videos to create so that I'll be able to make better content for you. Also, I may be able to upload only once or twice in a month due to some personal reasons. So please keep supporting me because I need it. Hey dear Poké fans, I am BulbaTuber and welcome back to my channel. Today's best team video is about Pokemon Gaia. It has been rated as one of the best ROMAX around as you get to discover an entirely new region. It also has a fantastic storyline with Pokemon up to Gen 6. It also has a mega evolution in the game which makes it even more better. And if you haven't played it yet, I would definitely recommend you to try this game out. And let's get into our video without any further ado and I hope you enjoy it. So the best starter for this game would be Infernip and it has no particular reason because the first team is a favorite type and all three types are fair about the same. But here's the thing, 5 types resist fairy types and Gym Charge evolution level is quite low as compared to other starters which is level 14. So that makes Infernape the clear winner. So Infernape's moveset will be Close Combat, Flare Blitz, Shadow Clone and Acrobatics. Um, Flare Blitz and Close Combat are for Stab, Shadow Claw is for covering Psychic type Pokemon, and Acrobatics is for utilizing its high attack stat and also if it does not um, hold an item then the attack becomes a whopping 110 base power. So that's it for my starter Pokemon. So the next Pokemon of our team is Excadrill. You can find a drill bird very early in the game which is in Arkham Tunnel and I tell you this Pokemon really does walk the talk. So Excadrill's moveset will be Metal Claw, Swords Dance, Drill Run and for the fourth move I toss in Ancient Power because it can boost all of the user stats if it is lucky. So Drill Run and Metal Claw are for stab. I chose Metal Claw because it learns no other skill type moves by level up and that can be repaired if I use Swords Dance. So Swords Dance becomes really essential for Excadrill and it has a really solid base stat of 507. So I have never ever used Excadrill even in my Unova game playthroughs. So I thought I'd use it in my team and surprisingly it turned out really good. So the next Pokemon of my team is Gardevoir. You can catch a Rolls in Seros path and I think we all know what Gardevoir can do. So Gardevoir's moveset will be Hypnosis, Dream Eater, Dazzling Gleam and Psychic. Uh, Hypnosis and Dream Eater are for crippling the foe and also being able to restore HP and Psychic and Hypnosis are for stab. Gardevoir has been a really solid Pokemon in competitive battling over the years and it is really good for play to Pokemon teams as well. So if you know how to use Gardevoir correctly, this thing can be a true beast and it will also help you in your playthrough a lot. So say hi to the fourth Pokemon of my team, Staraptor. You can catch a Starly in Aria's route and I've already told you in my previous videos how strong and deadly Staraptors can be. So Staraptor's moveset is going to be Close Combat, Take Down, Brave Bird and Roost. Um, take Down and Brave Bird are for Stab. Close Combat is a move that surprisingly Staraptor can learn and it is really useful for fighting against Rock and Steel types. And um, Roost is for regaining its HP so that it can attack recklessly. Staraptor is a super strong physical attacker that can also be used in place of dreams as well as competitive Pokemon. And I do recommend you to use it if you are playing through Pokemon Gaia. 
so the next Pokemon in my team may be a bit surprising, but it is Beartick. You can catch a Kavju at Adamus Heights and this Pokemon was the dark horse of my team. So Beartick's moveset will be Surf, Icicle Crash, Thrash and Swagger. Icicle Crash is for Stab, Surf is for coverage against fire types and also for HM use. Um, Thrash is for utilizing its massive 130 attack and Swagger is for confusing the foe and gaining a stat disadvantage. Beartic, um, just like Extra Real, I haven't used it in Nineveh you know, playthroughs even once so it was really a surprise for me when this thing turned out to be so strong. So the final Pokemon to top off my team will be Venusaur. Yes. This is the Ivysaur that you will get in Sabula Island after obtaining the Mega Ring. And Venusaur is my favorite Pokemon, so what else could be better? So Venusaur's moveset will be Pelt Storm, Sludge Bomb, Take Down, and Synthesis. So Pelt Storm and Sludge Bomb are for stab, Take Down is for getting a KO in tough situations, and Synthesis is for healing up in um, tough situations too. So Venusaur is a really all round Pokemon that you can definitely use to top off your team in Pokemon Gaia. Anyways, I hope you liked the video and if so, please like and hit the subscribe button. And until next time, I'm out.